Hi there, welcome again to our session of Learning Together. It's me, Christian. In this session, we are going to learn about measurement, assessment, evaluation in outcomes-based education. With a change of focus in instruction from content to learning outcomes, came the need to redefine and clarify the terms used to determine the progress of students towards attainment of the desired learning outcomes. These are the measurement, assessment, and evaluation. And our learning objective for today's session is to really differentiate measurement, evaluation, and assessment. Because for quite some time, especially for evaluation and assessment, this is interchangeably used in education. Let's have first educational measurement. According to Navarro et al., measurement is the process of determining or describing the attributes or characteristics of physical objects. When we measure, we are actually collecting quantitative information relative to some established standards. In doing so, we use some standard instrument to find out how long, how hot, how cold, or how fast things are. Such instruments may be ruler, scale, thermometer that will give us exact figure. However, in the field of education, the quantities and qualities of interest are abstract, meaning to say it cannot be seen, it cannot be touched, and so measurement process becomes more difficult. Hence, there is a need for us to specify the learning outcome that we are measuring. In doing so, we need the following. First is testing. Testing is the common procedure to measure the knowledge of the subject matter through standardized test result. All right? And we have as well perceptions. Perceptions happen when we ask a group of experts to rate the student's knowledge of the subject matter in a scale of 1 to 5. That's why we call it a scale rating. Being 1 is the lowest and 5 is the highest. In this procedure, knowledge of the subject matter is being measured through perceptions. And in the case of measurement, we have two types of measurement. The first one is objective measurement. Or when we say objective measurement, or that is testing itself, it is the most uh, stable type of measurement because it will produce the same outcome no matter how you repeat the process. One example of objective type of measurement is the multiple choice type of test wherein there is only one answer to that particular number no matter how, who will take the test, no matter who will mark the test. There is only one single answer that is true to everybody. However, there are, there are areas which cannot be covered by objective measurement. That's why we have this subjective measurement or that perception wherein the measurement will depend on the assessor himself. So it is dependent on the assessor. One example of a subjective measurement is your performance, the student's performance in a drama, wherein the student's rating will depend on the person who rates the particular per performance, meaning to say that the rating will depend from one person to another depending on his or her perception. That's why when you are doing me uh, subjective measurement, it is really advised to use rubric for basics of grading, okay? Based on the definition of educational measurement, educational measurement is really the scoring system for the students and it is really a signing of quantitative data or numerical data to the characteristics or the attributes. What about assessment? Assessment is the systematic process of gathering information or evidences of students' performance over a period of time to determine learning and mastery of skills. Such evidences of learning can take the forms of dialogue, records, could be journals, it could be written works, portfolios, and tests, and other performance results. So meaning to say, when we are doing assessment, we are required reviewing okay when doing assessment we are reviewing the entry of the journal entries written works presentation research papers essays 
uh, story written by the students and the test results and etc you can okay why are we doing this why are we reviewing why are we having assessment okay because we want to improve students learning we want to provide reliable information regarding the students progress to students himself to the parents and to the teachers and we are to determine to what extent of attainment of the expected outcomes so based on this we can infer that assessment is an ongoing process it is a process oriented okay and the thing that we are doing in the classroom in order for us to get information about our students learning is assessment the entire process is assessment so assessment is really documenting the students progress meaning to say recording the students progress over time it is the collection of observation towards student learning okay and the sole purpose is to really to improve the quality to improve the quality the learning quality of the students and then to improve the quality of teaching as well in the assessment part we can determine whether the students is progressing or not in the assessment part we are we can say we can determine whether our teaching is likable or not in the assessment part the main question would really are the students learning and how about evaluation evaluation originates from the word value and so when we evaluate we expect our process to give information regarding the worth the appropriateness the goodness the validity or the legality of something for which a reliable measurement has been made so meaning to say evaluation is a process designed to provide information that will help us to make a sound judgment okay take note of the word judgment about a particular situation okay in the evaluation part this is the culminating aspect wherein we qualify we qualify what has been learned we provide closure we judge the quality of instruction and evaluation is a product oriented it will look at the final product and it is safe to say that in the evaluation aspect this is where we pass or we fail a particular student this is where we reject or accept so in the evaluation part this is talking about the grading this is talking about the promotion whether to retain a particular student uh, this is talking about decision making whether to retain a student or to promote a student in the next level uh, we have here the comparison of assessment and evaluation assessment is ongoing it will not stop it is a process okay evaluation is the closure wherein you will say so you will you will uh, in our term pinatay mo na dito na part evaluation you put an end to that particular situation okay in putting an end you say you say your judgment okay for assessment you are doing assessment because you want to improve the quality of learning okay you want the particular student to improve his state okay to improve the capacity that's why you are documenting for you to see if there is really improvement in the evaluation you are not improving you are judging now the quality you in, in the evaluation part you would say that you fail you pass you're good you're bad that's in the evaluation whereas in the assessment you would say you will point out the areas for improvement you will say you have to improve your grammar you have to improve this particular thing the evaluation it shows your it will present your shortcomings it will present your shortfalls and then the assessment is process oriented it will look at the process and how the students attain the particular learning outcome or the evaluation is a product oriented it will only look for the final product and say something about it so we can infer that evaluation is the terminal state and the assessment is the bridge between teaching and learning so to sum up i have here a situation jamal got 35 over 50 in the pre-test and 45 over 50 in the post-test his teacher said that his performance in the tests is very satisfactory the figures 35 and 45 is measurement the very satisfactory is the evaluation the very satisfactory is you are 
qualifying the performance of Jamel. Okay? And the entire process of documenting the, the performance of Jamel is what we call assessment. As you can see, the term measurement, evaluation, and assessment are clearly distinct from each other but related. Teacher obtained measures from a test which is a form of assessment in order to make a fair evaluation about the specific trait or character and the entire process of documenting the progress of the student the entire process of documenting uh, JAMO's performance from pre-test to post-test is what we call assessment and the entire process is what we call assessment in learning okay well, let's try this one try to answer what's the correct answer Okay, the correct answer is A. Next. You got it. The correct answer is C. Evaluating. Alright, that's all for today. And thank you so much for listening.